All right, take three. Hey, everyone, welcome to another episode of Five Minutes with Phil. This guy. I'm Chris. That's Phil. Um, yeah, we've been hard at work, still doing radio stuff, but, you know, we're getting through it. We've got some extra helpers now. Thank you to Molly and Annette for helping. Um, so, yeah, we won't go too much into that. We're poking along. We're getting songs updated and uploaded and all that. But... Phil gave me some good news today, that you're going to Sydney. Forever. No, it's too city for you. You'd miss the country. But no, he's going to the, uh, what is it? The Big Bash League Cricket in January next year on the, what, the 12th of January. Phil gave me all this information and then I said, oh, okay, what are you, what, what are you doing there? And then he's like, cricket. I said, yeah, but who's playing and he's like Sydney um Sydney Thunder and Sydney Sixers and I went yeah where are you going though and you're like Sydney and I went yeah I heard you say Sydney but what, what are you going there for and he said to watch cricket and I went why would you do that <laughs> so, um, but but what Phil made me aware of was that it's the big bash league so they're quick games aren't they yeah they, those are the games that don't take six days they take six hours or are they shorter than six hours or like one hour three hours yeah about three hours still a long time for a game isn't it i mean they they're trying to whittle it down i really commend them for that they're trying to bring it down to a more watchable time frame um they'll get there eventually but yeah so stoked for that so you I imagine you'd be going up, wouldn't just be a day trip, you'd probably stay overnight, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's awesome. Getting out of Corindai, getting to the big smoke, and then going, man, I can't wait to go back to Corindai, because Sydney is not awful, but not great. Um, I don't want to slag out Sydney in case there's some watches from Sydney. But yeah, um... Also, this Justin, Phil said he's going to get a tattoo of a tractor because he likes a Kenny Chesney song. So if we can raise enough money for Phil's tractor tattoo, Phil agreed to get it on his back and then the words, she thinks my, and then a John Deere tractor, and then underneath it, sexy. Yeah, that's going to happen. We'll start a GoFundMe. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to put that one out there into the real world just in case. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. Um, but yeah, that's... I mean, there, there hasn't been a lot. I heard that there was a good footy game on the other night. Was it Sunday night footy? Apparently that was pretty awesome, wasn't it? Is that the female team or the male? I can't remember. I heard, I heard it was an awesome game, though. For keen eyes as well, just right there, you can see cushions appearing on the table. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, there, there hasn't, there's not a lot more to report on at the moment. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll report back next week. <laughs> so our dad fact for the week. <clears throat> Damn, I actually had a really good dad fact. Oh, that was it. Um. Not a dad fact, just an actual fact. Dogs only recently have been able to actually watch television because old TVs never used to get up to 60, 70 frames a second. And that's what dogs need in order to see moving images. Old TVs were about 30, 20 to 30 frames a second. So yeah, fun fact. Dogs can actually watch TV now. They can actually see the moving pictures, whereas old TVs, they couldn't. The more you know. All right. I think we'll wrap it up there. I've been Chris and still am and still continue to be. This is Phil over here, not getting a tattoo. <clears throat> and yeah, we will see you next week.